We begin tonight with tough choices for one apartment community. Residents of the Sea View Lofts in Newport News have under 24 hours to leave the building. That's right, Barbara. On Wednesday, the city notified them they had to leave due to safety issues in the building not being fixed. Unfortunately, it's still the case. And news reporter Brendan Ponton joining us live from the apartments. Brendan, residents were hoping this would be resolved by now. What's going on there? Yes, they were, and so far it is not resolved. Now, people have been moving out throughout the day here at the Sea View Lofts. It's quiet right now, but we're expecting things to pick up as people get home from work. Now, the 200 or so people who live here have to be out of here by 9 a.m. Friday. The big issue is that an elevator has not been properly working and needs to get reinspected. A building official told me she's hopeful that will happen before tomorrow morning, so no one has to leave, but it could really come down to the wire on that. The issue here coming up during a discussion this morning about housing with Senator Tim Kaine and State Delegate Marcia Price. Price says this is a sign the state needs to provide local governments more powers to crack down on landlords before a situation like this happens. And she says the owner is not required by law to provide any housing while this is sorted out. There really aren't any resources. We have waiting lists for the housing that is available. We have a housing market that is, you know, priced beyond some of the wages that folks are making. Um, so it really is kind of the perfect storm for the crisis that we're in. You know, chose rats, mice. Now, Price had a bill in the General Assembly that would have taken effect tomorrow and would have given localities more power to force landlords to fix issues, but the governor. Governor Glenn Youngkin vetoed it, saying it was redundant to existing state law. So the clock is really ticking, and it does really seem like a lot of people are hopeful that somehow the elevator will be repaired in time, but still a lot of uncertainty with that. And once again today, we did reach out to the owner of the building and did not get a response. We'll keep you updated here as all of this unfolds. We're live at Newport News. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.